Thanks for tuning in for Cincinnati Edition. I'm Mark Purzell. This morning, I have in the studio with me John Dvoracek. He is the Chair of Philosophy and Religion at Chatfield College, and he's here to talk about a course coming up beginning in January that almost sounds like the beginning of a joke. A nun, a rabbi, and a Muslim walk into a college classroom. Chatfield College in Cincinnati will host a course called Abrahamic Religions, taught collectively by a nun, rabbi, and an Islamic scholar. And that's coming up in January. And John is here this morning to uh, discuss the background for this Abrahamic Religions course. Good morning, John. Oh, good morning, Mark. Well, let's begin with how this, what sounds like a joke, all <laughs> came together. What was the impetus to put together a class that looked at these Abrahamic religions? Well, we've uh, done a world religions course at Chatfield for quite some time now, but pretty standard to any regular world religions course you'll find at a college. But we wanted to do something a little different. Uh, to our knowledge, there's nobody in the Cincinnati area, uh, Xavier, Miami, UC, nobody does anything like this. So we thought of, let's do something a little different. I'll be teaching the first week of the course, a middle week, and then also at the end. But the other classes will be taught by Rabbi Margaret Meyer, Sister Marianne Jansen, and Matthew Long, the uh, Islamic scholar. They'll each do four weeks themselves, and it's just something that uh, we thought would be interesting to do. Well, it seems in this day and age with so many issues over religion all, all around the world, uh, the difference is that trying to find the common ground it can be interesting. And I, I take it this class is both looking at the similarities and the differences of each of these religions, right? Yes, yeah, certainly. And there are a lot of differences, and those are the ones that are usually highlighted on news, the media, the things that kind of stick in our minds that we remember. But uh, I think everybody will be pretty surprised to learn about how many similarities cross the three Western religious traditions. So why Abrahamic religions? Why, uh, why, why that title for the class? Well, they all count Abraham as a forefather. So Judaism, Christianity, Islam, uh, each traces their traditions back to uh, Abraham uh, specifically as a founding prophet that, uh, with whom God established a covenant with mankind, then traditionally back to Adam in Genesis, of course, uh, before that. So these scholars will be looking at their own religion's version of Abraham and, and his story? Is that uh, how this is working? Correct, yeah. Um, I will be doing mostly a historical perspective and highlighting how Judaism, Christianity, Islam, uh, although linked, how they branched off from different, uh, at different times in history and how they look upon the same traditions in different lights while the three specialists in their respective fields will just kind of be bringing whatever they feel best to the table to teach the students about Judaism itself, uh, about Christianity and Islam. So, Chatfield College is a private Catholic college. That's correct. Uh, was there any issue with bringing in, you know, the, the, the rabbi and uh, the Islamic scholar to basically show a different type of religion? Mm -hmm. Well, we had to get special permission from the Pope, of course, but uh, no, I'm just joking. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, <clears throat> Chatfield is a mandatum carrying school, uh, but being a Catholic college uh, in Catholicism, we don't expressly teach just Catholic views or standpoints. Uh, we treat it from a very ecumenical nature, and everybody learns more and is the wiser for that. And is that what you're hoping the, the students will be getting out of this course? Yeah, certainly. Um, primarily just highlighting how the religions do work together and relate as opposed to the differences, um, especially with Islam, how it's perceived by the majority of Americans today. But we really just want to kind of open everybody's eyes to the reality that although historically the three religions have fought a decent bit, uh, they're really more like brother and sister or first cousins. And I was going to ask about, I can imagine that when the, the, the guest instructors come in and are focusing on, the, on their particular religion, that there, there, there might be some fiery interchanges or fiery exchanges, I guess you could say, uh, among the students. How, how do you balance that? Well, uh, people of any particular faith and persuasion would usually have protectionist views uh, and put their faith um, tantamount to some of the others, and that's understandable. Um, faith is something that we all, is a very personal issue for everyone. But we're going to just try and focus on uh, a lot of the history with it, and there are a lot of the same stories, actually, in similar traditions. For instance, the story of Abraham and Isaac, um, with the sacrifice of Isaac, where Abraham 
goes up the mount and is ready to sacrifice his uh, son Isaac, and then God stops him right at the last minute. Well, that's also a story in Islam. But the relationship between Abraham, Ishmael, uh, Isaac, Sarah, and Hagar in Judaism in the Old Testament and for Christianity, the way it comes across in the tradition in the Quran is slightly different. Uh, For instance, in Judaism and Christianity, we look at Hagar um, as the servant or the slave of um, Sarah, uh, Abraham's wife, and in Islam, she's a co-wife of Abraham, actually. So the son Isaac with Sarah and the son Ishmael with Hagar, where we look in Judaism and Christianity as there being um, a different distinction there. In Islam, uh, Abraham does not cast Hagar and Ishmael out into the wilderness and bans them because, as in the Old Testament, it relates that Sarah actually said to Abraham, you got to get rid of this older other son because the son with Hagar and with Ishmael, uh, well, the son Ishmael with Hagar, that is the elder son. Now that Sarah has the younger son Isaac, the last thing she wants is for the younger son, her son, to be second in position to Ishmael. So in the Old Testament, it says that Ishmael and Hagar, Abraham, basically sends them off. But for Islam, that's one of the, that's kind of the pivotal turning point with Judaism and with Islam because the, the tradition in Islam is that Abraham actually is told by God to take Hagar and uh, Ishmael off to a specific spot, which God will then show to Abraham. So the distinction with the same characters, but the different take on the stories, can be an interesting thing to study. You you mentioned the uh, three instructors, Sister Marianne Jensen, uh, Rabbi Margaret Meyer, and Islamic scholar Matthew Long. Uh, when you approached them with this idea, what what, what was their reaction? They were all intrigued at first, and then they became pretty excited, especially after we all met each other and kind of started to get a course together on the same page. Do you imagine this will lead to to other courses? And as you mentioned, there's world religion courses at about every college, but this is a very unique approach. Yeah, it's that was our intention, to do something to set it apart and uh, having the three different specialists in their respective fields teach portions of the course, I think is something that the students will really benefit from. Whether we'll continue on and uh, maybe have kind of a round two class, it's certainly worth pursuing. Um, Maybe we could even look at getting some local specialists in their fields in the Eastern religions, such as Buddhism or Hinduism. Um, That could be an interesting thing to look at for the future as well. So how much ribbing have you gotten around the college about a nun, a rabbi, and a Muslim walk into a college classroom? Well, I'm still working on the punchline, but maybe by the end of the course, you know, we'll we'll have a, an ending to, uh, you know, the beginning of our joke. So. Well, it sounds like a fascinating endeavor. Thanks for sketching it out for us this morning. Oh, my pleasure. That's John Dvoracek. He's the uh, Chatfield College Chair of Philosophy and Religion, talking about Their new course entitled Abrahamic Religions, taught collectively by a nun, a rabbi, and an Islamic scholar. It'll be happening in the spring semester beginning in January. You can learn more about Chatfield College and at this class by visiting our website, wvxu.org. Thanks again. Thank you.